video contains graphic depictions and scenes that may be unsuitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. It didn't say strongly, I added that myself, but I thought it was appropriate. Because tonight, my T-Rex and fans, we are reacting to 10 horrible and brutal ways to die whilst on Skull Island. Please enjoy. And also, please bring a body bag. Video contains graphic depictions and scenes that may be unsuitable for some audiences. Yeah, I already said that. Discretion is advised. But thank you again Today, for reinforcing my point. Ooh, that had to hurt. Oh, that really had to hurt. Oh! This video contains some pretty distasteful content. So if you happen to have a weak stomach, we recommend you don't eat any red pasta while you're watching this video. If this I hear is your that. first time watching our content, we would be thrilled if you could join us by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. Still here? Same thing for my channel. Now to the hit that subscribe button and like the video, guys, please. It, it really helps me out. Death from above. Skull Island Death from above? Oh my god, they're surrounded onto this island too? Some of the smallest creatures posed a fatal threat. The Leafways are the perfect example. Armed with a serrated bone trunk. This camouflaged animal could plummet from high altitudes into hey, the Hey why the long face? <laughs> yeah. we have I know, I already the said that joke for the Mac of Kenny and working with face, but come on. It is right there. That these animals had an understanding of the anatomy of their prey, as they knew exactly where to strike they in order to disable them and prevent Robert them from running away right or fighting back. The serrated edges on their trunks could have caused increased trauma to flesh, thus leading to an abundant amount of blood loss and Also, to death. quote Samuel Jackson, that is one to ugly ass bird. Zapped to death. If you thought the leaf wings were horrible already, meet the psycho vulture, a close biological relative to the I leaf mean, but with evolutionary adaptation. It looks more like a bat than a vulture. And, light receptors and honestly, if it shoots electricity, wouldn't it be more like a flying electric eel instead? In this case, Humans. If this wasn't freaky enough, these animals live up to their name by voluntarily ingesting a type of poisonous puffer fish, which drives them on a barbaric craze Wait, to kill. They voluntarily eat it. Worse, the oh my god, they really are psychotic. The birth of Kong suggests that these animals were capable of aiming electric beams from their mouths onto any target. If this was aimed at a human, the electrical current would be enough to cause extremely painful and disabling muscle contractions and ventricle fibrillation, which could cause immediate death. This is without Thank Dino God for my thick scaly hide. As then. horrible as this sounds, you would be lucky if it ends here, as the psycho vultures would most likely gore into you once they get close enough. Of course they would. Three, strangled and digested alive. Imagine you're walking through Skull Island's dense jungle as a way to refuge yourself from deadly airborne creatures. Okay. All of a sudden, you feel sticky tentacles what? rain on you from a tree above. Oh no! Oh no! I'm getting pulled up! I'm getting pulled up! Someone help me! Someone help me! Of a vine strangler, ah! a species of flora fauna that feed primarily ah. on things like you. But I managed to get myself free. In the sticky situation in the first place. <sighs> While you were walking through the jungle, or I was too heavy for him. That's not a possibility. The ground, which triggered the roots of the vine strangler. This oh yeah, I definitely caught some vibrations in the ground. On you and roped you up into its wide open belly, where you will be digested alive for a whopping seventy-two hours. Ooh, Let's talk tough about break there, buddy. Experience. In the real, Just keep hanging in there, man. World, no, the Venus I'm sorry. Trap will capture insects in a similar way, of course, without the tentacles. Of Once course. trapped, the fly was then be slowly digested by special enzymes secreted by the Venus trap. Now that's the end of a bug's life. The strangler here would very likely function in a similar way, except more gruesome. As because why not? Inside, the vine strangler will secrete enough enzymes to first dissolve your outer layer of skin, including your eyelids. Keep in Wait. mind that you are still alive your eyelids. Stage. The enzymes would then proceed to He's still alive? Oh my god. Oh my dino god. Your organs. At this point, you're probably dead. Most people, however, would have died of shock before the enzymes reached the muscle tissue. Oh, thank god. On the third day, all that remains is a husk. Or in our case, a pile of slimy skeletons. Ew. Four. Clean up after you eat, buddy. 
Props to that. Oh, I know what I can do about that. Sharks, this might just be your worst nightmare. The death jackal is known to be one of the most hyper aggressive, and in these terms, one of the most hyper brutal animals in Skull Island. I can believe that. Looks like a pheromone dinosaur. This animal has the agility of a leopard and is armed with the bite of the great white shark. And the appearance of a velociraptor. They come in packs. On steroids. about how fast this bite can kill. And also, Harry's rabies. Down with a force of 4,000 psi. To crush through a human rib cage, the death jackal would only require a mediocre bite of 742 psi, just to flatten your upper torso. That bite force is nothing compared to what I deal with. Survival expert, compared to what I have. Ooh. That looks like it's going to be a pain in the guts. Against the next terrifying killer. Huh? Five. Slurp to live. Skip this section if spiders terrify you. In Skull Same here. Island, there crawls a gargantuan insect that literally skewers its prey from above. Meet the mother long legs. Hello, the mother long legs. Can grow up to 23 feet in height, though film and graphic novel depictions portray it as even larger. Because of course they would. To run into a bamboo forest, make sure to look up. Now to the gory details. Once the mother long legs manages to impale you, die. it would not comfort you to know that you will not die immediately. What? On the contrary, you are about to experience an excruciatingly painful death. Believe it or not, this unfortunate fellow was actually still conscious for a couple of seconds while witnessing the monstrosity that consumed him as his intestines were rapidly siphoned uh, through the spider's uh, long legs. Excuse me for a second. To get into more detail, <sighs> the spider's leg pierced through this individual's oh. throat, which made him incapable of breathing or screaming. And okay, I, mean, I think I'm good now. Spinal cord, which paralyzed him immediately. In addition to that, the spider's legs are equipped with orifices that siphon the victim's juices and intestines up the long shaft, leading to the creature's stomach. We aren't finished with the mother long legs just yet. If you happen to be directly God, the spider, that is terrifying. expect to be covered in Dear sticky Donner tendrils, goodness. which are dropped directly from the spider's open stomach. Oh no, no, not again. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Help me, somebody help me. Donner God, help me. Skull Island monsters seem to have a thing for leaving nasty leftovers. The next creature, however, leaves behind something more exotic. <sighs> I've I managed to get away again. There is only one get place stick in the bugged. Where even trees themselves would like to eat you. Wait, Skull Island is even the trees want to eat us here? Has ever walked the earth. The spore mantis is actually a large slug-like parasite encased in a redwood-sized tree trunk. This oh, me. Slug, however, it's a really good disguise. Crunching mandibles. If you ever happen to make the spore mantis angry enough to eat you, getting crunched to bits will be the less humiliating part. Once your remains are inside the parasite, I mean, it's protein it seemed pretty slow, though. I'm pretty sure I could get away if it is, as long as I you ran at like half an hour speed. To the outside world once again. Oh, it's like the amber from a mosquito in Jurassic Park. Is it weird? I kind of want to see that now. Probably. Seven. Chewed to death? Swamps have been the perfect brewing pot for evolution to take its notoriously dark and twisted turns. Yep, to I know that for a fact. Eye, these harmless plants seem to be simple swamp trees. Yeah, they do. Oh! Perhaps one of the most terrifying ways to die on this island. Swamp locusts use their tree-like legs as camouflage. That thing is a locust. Distinguishable from the surrounding vegetation. The real oh no, get out of there, guys. Get out of there. That lamprey -like mouth, which is home to many sharp backwards facing teeth. The minute you, they say lamprey, you just know it's going to be bad. Tigerfish, which are built to grip onto prey while inflicting outstanding amounts of trauma. That you video of the Goliath tigerfish, by the way, is taken from the show Room Monsters of Show. I highly recommend it. The swamp locust's tooth infested gastrointestinal tract is a single continuous chamber that makes up almost its entire body. The backward-facing teeth will make it simply impossible to even think about escape. Getting punctured and chewed from all angles would cause any unfortunate individual... Dear Dino God, and I thought getting eaten by the Mosasaurus was bad. Death. Eight. Floating Caves of Doom. 
Let's pretend that from that reason, you managed to escape the swamp locust and found refuge on a nearby patch of floating land. Ah, you see there? Okay. The the They're gonna be right. Already passed. But, uh, but this mosasaur-sized crocodilian feeds on animals and people like you who were tricked into thinking this was just another floating patch of dirt and trees. Well, Given that it's Marina's modern-day cousin, I suppose. Of all time. It's not too far-fetched to state that this monster is likely to have the strongest bite force of all the creatures in Skull Island. This would probably be even stronger than me. You, your friends, uh. and your boat. Assuming you didn't get crushed by those teeth, you probably are now sliding down this animal's esophagus. Once you splash into the siren jaws, dark murder. That is an apex reptilian predator right there, guys. Skin. You are now being showered and digested by the crocodile's extremely corrosive digestive acids. Ah, it burns! It burns! Really burns. Stimulate their digestive process thanks to deoxygenated blood that is directed to the stomach. This blood is rich in acidic carbon dioxide, which stimulates the production of the most acidic stomach acid known in nature, capable of dissolving flesh and bones in record time. Consequently, crocodiles are known to secrete stomach acid ten times faster than any other animal. What Ooh, does this mean rough. for you? Since you are now beast. in the most corrosive and acidic environment on the planet, you can expect to be turned into a bloody sludge in a matter of moments. But I suppose it's more than being for the best. To death, Wait, no. Boiled? boiled alive. Oh. Yes, you what? heard that right. There are creatures on this island that could potentially boil you alive. But before making it into the boiling pot, you first have to get caught by one of these. Caught by the Maya oh. squid is a giant cephalopod found in Skull Island. Looks like Davy Jones unleashed the Kraken again. A giant octopus and a squid. Your trip to the boiling pot could begin in one of two areas. Number one, it wouldn't take much effort for the squid to catch you with its ten tentacles. For the record, I actually really enjoy eating squid. I don't enjoy it so much when the squid eats me. From land and into the stomach of this monster. Number two, this squid is equipped with beak-like jaws that are on top of a complex muscle formation that allows them to spin. So fast, in fact, that Polly want a human. Polly want a human. Vortex-like whirlpool that sucks any creature unlucky enough to get A whirlpool trap. This Your thing also has a whirlpool over its You're mouth. You're now about to experience what it is to be inside a biothermal creature's stomach. Once you plunge into the squid's throat, you begin to suffer second-degree burns. This is because you're traveling close to the squid's internal ink sac. This ink is used as a defense mechanism to burn any potential predators alive. Of course If you course haven't died on your way to the creature's stomach, here you will. At oh, thank point, God. Besides God. being dissolved by digestive acid, oh, God. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to block this. Burns. It's a bit too at much for the viewers right now. Feel any pain at all. You're fortunate that it's now over. Okay. Shredded to death. In what? We got lost raptors on this island? Suffered possibly one of the most brutal ways to die in the monster verse. Contrary Ooh. to what you may think, getting eaten by one of the larger skull crawlers would be better than most of the deaths discussed previously. Wait, but seriously? Killed by a juvenile skull crawler would be far worse. The How? Why this would hurt more is simply because juvenile skull crawlers have a denser concentration of backward-facing teeth than the adult specimens. Oh, if you were to get eaten by an that adult, makes sense. You would simply get swallowed whole. But being eaten by a juvenile means you get brutally chewed and then swallowed. Indeed. Getting clamped on by a juvenile skull crawler means that any maneuver trying to escape this creature will possibly well, that's gonna be cause some more interesting damage footage. as these backward-facing teeth are constantly puncturing areas like their arms, legs, and upper torso. This high concentration of teeth also means that they will likely strike an artery in any of these areas, leading to severe blood loss and imminent death. Well, as long as it's imminent death. Getting eaten by a juvenile skull crawler is similar to being placed on an Iron Maiden while having the doors slam shut mm. many times over. That's got to sting. After seeing the many horrifying ways you could die in Skull Island, do you think that you could survive living in the most dangerous biome of all time? I mean, I'm also an Apex Predator, so... If you are really yeah, probably. In putting your survival skills and island knowledge to the test, Regular you know, humans, I'm not so sure. You have the knowledge it takes to survive. I'm also from Australia, so I already live in an environment where everything is constantly trying to kill me. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next Thanks again for making this video, Gojo Center.